the will they won't they saga over renewing the Orville? Have we finally got an answer? Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. For several months now, we've been talking about this Orville season four. The will they, won't they? Will Hulu bring us a season four? Now, I told you about eight or nine months ago, it looked like it was a no. But then there was a ray of hope. Some of the actors started talking about how there had been conversations. And I found out exclusively and first on Sidetrack that actually they were having a conversation, but that they were trying to negotiate season four at a much lower cost than New Horizons. New Horizons was expensive. They really threw a lot of weight behind that show, hoping to get big numbers, sort of Star Trek numbers. They didn't. Even though the series was a success, reasonably, and it was popular with the Orville fans, it never quite got the numbers that executives at Hulu were hoping for. They were hoping for far greater, far wider audience. Now, they still got really good viewing hours because the Orville fans watched the show over and over again. Personally, I've watched it three times. So it wasn't a failure by any stretch of the imagination. But the world we're living in today is very different to the world we had when New Horizons was commissioned. We have a cost of living crisis and people cutting back on streaming services. We have now the writer's strike and a possible actor's strike. The reality today is very different. There's also an issue with Hulu itself. Disney actually do have an agreement in place to buy the portion of Hulu they don't currently own. It was for about $20 billion or something. It's a deal that now Disney feel that one, they can no longer afford. They're having to cut jobs. They're having to cut costs at every opportunity they can. But also they feel that actually the price that was agreed is just too much. The reality is that when that deal was agreed, the world was a very different place, as we say. And actually now they feel that the price should be much lower. So that is causing a significant amount of uncertainty at Hulu. An uncertainty that adds to the Orville's problems. So there was a streaming war. Nobody won that war. Nobody. And everybody now, except maybe Apple, are having to cut costs. We discussed this several months ago as a main reason why the negotiations for the Orville were going so slowly. But it seemed that Fuzzy Door Productions, Seth MacFarlane's company, were willing to bring that show in at a much lower budget. So negotiations continued. It then was announced by us that actually Seth MacFarlane was probably not going to return to the Orville series if it got renewed. He's currently doing the TED show, which actually on the Peacock Network, they really think they've got a hit on their hands. They're really throwing everything behind it. They really think it could be one of the big shows for 2023, 2024. Seth MacFarlane is also currently developing and writing The Shrouded College, which is potentially going to be a big television production, again, for the Peacock Network, based around a series of graphic novels by Charles Soule and Will Silney. Now, Soule is actually well known within the comic book and graphic novel arena. He has done loads of big projects. He has worked for the MCU, etc. He's done Daredevil, he's done Captain America, he's done all sorts. He's done pretty much everything. And his series, The Shrouded College, has been looked at for quite some time as the next big comic book graphic novel series. Now, Seth MacFarlane has got his hands on it for the Peacock Network. What is this show about? Well, it's about basically a bunch of superheroes that are recruited to fight a supernatural cold war. And that this shrouded college is a kind of failing organization that is desperately battling against the forces of evil. Now, I have no clue what Seth MacFarlane is going to do with this, whether it's going to be a comedy, or whether he's going to actually going to do it straight laced. But what we can be confident about is that it is taking a lot of his time up. And that, with Ted and a couple of other projects he's got on the go, meant he was probably not going to return to the Orville more than maybe a cameo role in the first couple of episodes. The conversation that was being had was basically he would return and either be killed off 
or promoted and that actually Captain Grayson would take over leading the show and the ship. Now, I actually think that was a really good idea and negotiations were going on for quite some time. My sources are telling me that negotiations, however, ended about three weeks ago and that basically there's no more Orville. There are no more plans. They basically think that without Seth MacFarlane, it really loses its weight and it just is a project that they can no longer afford. Now, this is seriously disappointing. I was really looking forward to season four of The Orville. The Orville actually was one of my favourite shows when it first came out. But can I understand why executives are maybe pulling the cord? Kind of, yeah. I kind of thought that the show never really quite found its feet. It didn't really quite know what it was. Was it a Star Trek show or was it a Seth MacFarlane show? Now, Seth MacFarlane seemed to want to do a Star Trek show. And in the first two seasons, under pressure, I imagine, from Hulu and Disney, he injected a lot of his humour into it. Now, in the third season, Horizons, a lot of that humour disappeared. And he really did try to do a grown up, proper sci fi show. But that really meant that the show felt very different in the third season. Now, a lot of people pointed woke at this show and all this sort of thing. And, well, anybody that did that doesn't know Seth MacFarlane. They really need to go back and watch a lot of his other material to know what sort of humour he has and what sort of politics he has. And I don't want to get into the argument because it's a nonsense. But for me, the show actually was a decent success. Yes, OK, they spent too much money on it. Now, I always felt that Seth MacFarlane probably knew this was the last hurrah for the Orville that actually had other projects coming along that were going to take up his time and at the end of the day I think he felt that Hulu didn't have the appetite for the show. The Orville season three really did end in quite a nice way and maybe we could argue that it's a decent place to end the show but I felt there was more adventures in that universe. I would have liked to have seen Captain Grayson. I'd have liked to have seen what the other crew could have done. And I'd have liked to have seen where maybe new people would have taken the ideas that Seth MacFarlane laid down. It's a shame that we're not going to be getting a season four of the Orville. But guys, I'd love to know what you think. Please get into the comments and tell me, is this heartbreaking news? Are you gutted we're not going to be getting a season four? Or by this point, are you actually like, well, yeah, we'd have heard something by now if it was. I honestly think the final nail in the coffin of this was the writer's strike and the potential actor's strike that's coming. Lots of projects are getting cancelled and this is just one more. So get into the comments though and tell me exactly what you think about this news. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, it really helps us out, and you can follow all the links that are mentioned down here for lots of Sidetrack fun stuff. As always, please stay safe, and I'll see you next time.